What's the name of the temple we're going to see this morning? Um, this morning we are going to see Bhante Sri Temple. Oh, okay. Yes. It's a beautiful temple, you say? It is very, very beautiful. It is the most beautiful one. Built of pink sandstone. Yeah. And with its very detailed and intricate carving. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And we will take about one hour oh, to get to the temple from the city of Siem Reap. Okay, good. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. We're still here. For the king and for the king's family, when they go to take the bath, they say they go to Srang, something like that. It's different from the regular people. We use different words. So it was a royal bath here. It was built by King Jayavarman the Seventh in end of 12 to early 13th century. It is man-made. And the size of the pool is 400 meters wide by 700 meters long. And there was a temple located in the middle of the pool. Today, maybe next in next two months, in April, we can see the remains of the foundation, the pieces of stone blocks of the foundation of the temple. It's compulsory, it's compulsory but you know, some school children some uh, children are sent to school, but maybe are not sent to school. It's still depending upon the family, and we usually have big family. And sometimes the parents need the older one to take care of their siblings when the parents gone home or gone to work, or sometimes they need them to help their work too. Okay. Cool. Yeah. It is a family of mountain temple, oh. man-made mountain temple. Did every town Uncle have their own temple? Yeah, is that really. why there's so many? Yeah. Every, every, every town? Like every that? town and every king. Every king, okay. Yeah, every king. So when one got to be a king, he tried his place to build his own temple and his capital city too. Yeah. This, again, this one is called Prai Ru. Oh. Prai means to return, Ru means the body, returning the body, oh, meaning see. like to reincarnate. So the name is related to a, a legend that say in one day the king went to the pool where we just passed by oh. to take a bath. And after that he went to the temple to meditate and the next day he became very young king. Yeah. We have some very uh, beautiful flowers here. As you can see, this is lilies. But, you know, we finally uh, got inside the temple grounds here. I'll do a little bit of a pan here so you can see. We finally made it into the grounds here with the, all the Buddha. Here we have the Buddha inside the monument here. Here's another one of the images here. Oops. We're headed around now to the other side of the temple so we can see both sides.
talking to Karen from Washington, D.C. This is the moat around the temple that we're walking right now, plus the wall. Uh -huh. Fruit and nut. Mm -hmm. So maybe a small part of the nut is connected here mm -hmm. and most outside the fruit. We eat the nut and we eat the fruit. We do. It's good to make a wine. Also. Well, nice. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like sugar, is it? Palm sugar. Palm sugar. Yeah, 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 Yeah, I'll skip, well, give me a small piece, a very small piece. Small, maybe. yeah, maybe. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> hmm, it's very good. For not a week. Where does it come out? Um, so one week, just go up to do in the early morning every day for a week <laughs> to the flower yes on two yeah and after that after that put the flower in the the water they have a like bamboo container with uh -huh. the water up to here and put the flower in here oh, okay and for three days to leave the flower in the water so the flower oh. absorb the water and connect it like that and after three days take the water off and then they have flower, uh, they have knife, very sapphire. They are glad to do just one time to chop the flower. Uh -huh. Like that. And then the, the juice drop yeah. off. Uh -huh. And they use the same types of the container again. So chop all of them to collect. So you don't actually cut it off the tree? You take no, the no, juice no. out while it's still yeah, attached? It's still attached to the tree. We, we need to climb up and collect every day, twice a week. Not twice a day, in the morning and in the late afternoon. And each time we collect the, the juice, we have to chop up them. So one day, one chop one, and maybe someday it go over here and not to produce juice anymore. We work with a, a new flower that just come out. The juice that we get, we put in the pot then. And then boil it. Sometimes we need to boil three hours, sometimes three and a half. It depends on how much fire, how much fire wood we put. Yeah. And then, so this is like water here. <laughs> Evaporate the water. And then sugar will be in here. And from the bottom of sugar. 10 kilograms of sugar, it's okay. quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah. From the whole pot, you mean? From the whole pot. Oh, 10, okay. Kilograms. 10 kilograms of sugar. Okay. We're headed into lunch here. 